Welcome back, YouTube. Another, maybe, the last day of harvest. If we can get everything done in time. It may be our last day of harvest. We filled the combine up with fuel. Had some fingers to replace on the reel. And we're going. The uh, combine's running. Um, now we just sit and wait for a truck to get full. And then we got to go unload it. And so we've been doing stuff around the house this morning, been going for a while. Um, I have a gator that I brought from work to clean for a customer. Um, I washed it. I needed some cleaning supplies that I thought I had, didn't have. You know how that goes. So I got to go get that and a couple things in town. But it take, we timed it yesterday. It takes about three hours to fill a semi. Um, so, well, not not quite three hours, just under three hours uh, with that combine to fill the big trucks, and which is what we're going to fill first. So, we got a little bit of time to uh, <clears throat> play around with before that truck gets full, and then we'll go down and unload it. We have to quit early tonight. Uh, we got some plans this evening, so luckily all this week is dry, beautiful, nice weather. Um, so there shouldn't be any problems with rain coming. So if we don't get it done today, tomorrow will be our last day of harvest. But as of right now, we're hoping to push and get it all done before we got to head out of here. So, uh, I guess I want to go take the gator to town here, get some, uh, errands ran. And then we're going to come back and check and see, uh, the combine, how uh, far along he's going to get along. And we'll go from there. So um as of last night we were about 40 percent done with our field so we got about 60 percent to go and uh yeah they're turning off pretty pretty decent uh no real yield monitor in the combine so there's no numbers actually being fed back to us at real time but we did take the trucks and go weigh them at the scale house and uh roughly did some math there tried to figure out some uh yield and they're not turning off too bad um i'd like to uh get everything done and in and then calculate it before i gave out a number but they're they're doing pretty good so we're happy about that um everybody's bean yields this year despite being so dry and not a lot of rain um in the later half of the growing season the beans are doing pretty good from what i'm hearing the corn not so much i've i've heard some pretty poor corn yields and honestly it's kind of disappointing because we had a real wet real late uh start to the planting season then we got we were doing good with uh rainfall amounts and then the second half of the year just fell off dry and we went into a severe drought and it just kind of um killed any yield potential we had with corn and i've heard corn yields down to as low as 100 bushel an acre and around here it's not unheard of in fact it's very common to see at least 180 if not you know 200 so to get your yield sliced practically in half you know it's hurting a lot of guys this year so that's kind of disappointing but we're hoping the beans make up for it and of course the cattle um there for a while we're doing pretty good so Unfortunately, that's just the way things are with farming and with the yields and the markets and all that, but it's the risk you take, and this year was a risk, and we took it, so um, we'll just have to play it by ear and see how uh, things do, but other than that, it is what it is, so let's get this show on the road and uh, get you guys some harvest footage. Well, I'm back. Got my stuff I needed, and... We uh, made our way back to the farm here and I came out to uh, check and see how the combine's doing. You can see the amount of progress we've made. These long rows are about double the short rows back in the back there. So he's got a little bit of ground to cover here. Um, neighbor came in, cut all that yesterday. He's got a big OS 680, so he, he knocked that out in no time. But yeah, we, we got this left to do and then that's it for Harvest 24, but I'm coming out here to see uh, what he wants to do for lunch because it's about that time. And while I'm out here, 
I'm going to take a peek in the truck here and see how much he's got loaded and uh, just get an idea how much time we have left before we uh, have to go dump this thing. We've got a little bit of room to cover. Not quite as much as on here as what I thought it was, but there's oh, a couple dumps on there probably. Maybe three. So yeah, he's got a little bit to go yet. We've got a little bit of time. Which, in a sense, isn't very good for us because, you know, the more yield, the better. And the more yield, the quicker it takes to fill a truck up. But it's all right. It is what it is. said he did not care what we uh, got him for lunch because he will eat anything which is valid because I just about will too but I asked him what how he thought those were doing on them long rows the beans he said they were turning out pretty good he hasn't made it to the wet spot yet which if you remember back in previous videos I've mentioned it before we got a real bad wet spot in the back corner there that stays wet all the time and it's like there's a natural spring under it or something. And he hasn't made it back there yet, which I knew he hadn't, but we're anxious to see how how that does back there because even as dry as it's been this year, it could still surprise us and still have standing water back there, which has been known to happen before. So whether or not it actually be that way again, who knows? But if we start seeing mud tracked and ruts left, then well, no, something's going on. I got you a drink. I got you a drink. You thirsty? Going on a lunch run. Yeah, I've got a list here, so be patient with me. Okay. Um, I need a two for six. Alright, thank you. I got him lunch and some Mountain Dew. He's unloading the truck. Got one more dump on it for we gotta unload it. I did my good deed for the day. Now I can go sit back, relax, and play video games. Just kidding. The only thing I play is real life farming simulator. I cut across the neighbor's field to get uh, to the back corner here even though I know he doesn't mind. Um, we got probably one more dump from the combine to fill this truck which is going to be good for us and um, you see we got a little bit left so we're thinking if um, uh, by our uh, guesstimates uh, one more dump on this which is him finishing the going down like he's like he is and then coming back um then have just a little bit left should put us uh right over 60 bushel to the acre for soybeans which is pretty uh pretty good for us hey what's the weather like down there huh nice yeah it's pretty windy up here There's a site you red guys are going to like to see. I'm more biased to uh, that name right there. But that doesn't mean I like staring at stuff like that going across the field either. I can't complain too much because that machine right there is making us money. Where this one right here I'm sitting in is costing me money and it's really just a toy. So you can bash me all you want, but I still prefer the green paint. Well, we were trying to clean that gator up while uh, Dad was unloading the truck, and then Phillips actually unloading over there. You can see him. But I just got a call that 
something happened to the, our uh, in dump trailer that we were using. Uh, some axle, some bolts in the axle broke off what he said. So um, apparently, it, I don't know the way he sounded. It was not too good. So we're we're down there, going down there to help out. And then I got the Calvary with me. So I don't know. We might be down for the Calvary today, but we'll have to see once we get there. We're gonna try to get some weight off this trailer. See if we can uh, get it level or not. He said it was leaning pretty bad when he tried to dump before. But yeah, that's gonna be a major uh, issue. You think a couple broke bolts, it ain't that big of a deal, but yeah, they're broke off in there. It's gonna be, it ain't gonna be fun. <laughs> 